I've been going on undergoing a transformation that actually started about six months ago. A little bit of background, I was raised in a very strict fundamentalist religious household. We weren't allowed to question anything and I started questioning when I got to be about 13 or 14. It made the adults around me very uncomfortable. I went from being extremely religious, at one point wanting to be a minister, to going to the opposite extreme. And I've been self-identified as first an agnostic and then an atheist for at least the past 35 or 40 years. Lately, I've been questioning that stance because, Joy, you've helped me realize that there is something more to our lives outside of ourselves not just outside of these bodies, some kind of universal energy that you are teaching me how to access and use to help heal people. But also there's more than just now. There's everything that has come before and everything that's going to be. And it doesn't just end with us. And that's a really awesome feeling, but at the same time it's kind of scary. Because I've lived my whole life as a skeptic and I've identified myself as an atheist who poo-pooed the whole idea of energy and chakras and any kind of anything that could not be proven by science. And I am realizing there's a lot more to our lives than just what can be proven in a lab. That's a little bit overwhelming. But it's exciting at the same time. I'm going to be going through this transformation process you're going to be there to help me, which is really cool. Mm. And I'm looking forward to being able to use what I'm going to be learning to help people, because that's what makes me feel really good. And the neat thing about it is, they don't even have to know <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, the modality that I use is massage. And I'm strong, and I have good technique, and I give a very good massage. But now, with the tools you are giving me, and the knowledge that I'm gaining, I'm going to be able to take that to a whole other level. And I'm going to be able to help people, not just physically, by massaging the tension out of their muscles or getting rid of trigger points, but also I'm going to be able to impact them on a deep emotional and spiritual level even without them knowing it. 
and I'm excited about that. I can envision myself a year from now giving somebody a massage and them just feeling so at peace with the universe. Mm -hmm. And getting up from my table just feeling whole and connected. And to know that I've had just a small part in that. It's going to be so awesome. Mm -hmm. We don't have to wait a year. <laughs> I'm, I've already been able to use some of what you've taught me to help some people. How did that feel? It felt good. It. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little bit surprised <laughs> because I didn't expect it to work mm. but I'm thinking one particular person who has a lot of physical problems and I just placed my hands on her knee and allowed a color to come through and the energy to go through my hands and into her knee and she had a difficult time walking up and down stairs. She, in fact, she would not walk up and down stairs because it was too painful. Mm -hmm. She comes to me every two weeks for massage and Two weeks later, I asked her how her knee had been feeling, and she said, Wow, you must have really helped me last time because it just hasn't been hurting lately. Hey! <laughs> and I remember at the time, everything just kind of came together, and I had the most vivid, violet color, and I could just feel my hands getting warm, and this only happened for about 20 to 30 seconds, mm. and I actually felt chills going up my spine near the end of that time, and then I stopped. I wasn't really sure what I had done, or if I had even done anything. But then she told me her knee had not had any pain for two weeks. <laughs> not bad for 20 seconds work. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, I knew it was a lot more than just manipulating the tissue with the right. hands. So this works. It's real. Yeah. And I feel a little bit overwhelmed because I'm having to go through some personal changes. And change is tough sometimes. Yeah. Especially if you've been a certain way for 35 or 40 years. And then all of a sudden, in just a matter of months, I'm doing a complete about face. Mm. It's, uh, it's scary, but it's exciting, and I feel really good about it. I'm looking forward to the future, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you putting yourself on the line to share this journey. I just think you're the most inspiring person, Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you.